<laughs> all right, all right. It might be a really good time to sell your house right now. Um, uh, with the demand down, no, demand, demand is up, up. supply is down. <laughs> there you go. But the point of this story is, if you only have a little bit of money to try to fix it up and get it ready for the market, what do you do first? The most effective thing you can do, Jennifer Westover has that. All right, so we're going to send it off to my realtor friend. Take it away, Robin. The one thing to spend the other Robin. Paint, paint, paint. <laughs> That's Robin but you Elliot, can do it yeah. yourself on the cheap. You can. This house that, that we were showing here, it started out with red walls, dark ceilings. You could probably imagine how closed in it Kind of like feel a cave-like feeling. Yeah, and that's something, you know, a lot of people make these personal choices, so it's hard to sort of overwrite yourself. But you really want, from the minute the people walk in the door, for them to be able to project, to see themselves in your home, and to really need neutrals, almost like a blank... Um, you know, something to paint on. Think about it. You need a blank piece of paper to start painting. Canvas. Thank you. So you can do it yourself. Robin is an advocate of this. Now, if you do, though, you've got to do a really good job because you want things to be clean and crisp. You're going to have to do the moldings as well. So let's just say you are not as dedicated as Robin and you're going to hire a pro. It can average. I looked at sort of for the average square footage house. It's probably going to be around $2,000. I mean, this is something, you're talking about a $200,000 bid possibly or more for your home, so it may be worth it. But either way, you know, they talk a lot about paint is number one, and of course that's part of decluttering. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's so critical, your photo these days, right? I mean, it's almost like Match.com, the way people look at homes, they don't go and look, they see the pictures first. You've got a second to grab their attention, mm -hmm. get the emotion going. We're going to talk about how to make that picture sing tomorrow, the one tip you need to know. Um, yeah, exactly. And um, I think, too, that you'll, you'll want to make sure that you, you're just not showing the outside. People want to just give me a glimpse of the inside if you're not going to show every room. I do every room. I'm like, you know, it's like you take a house tour without having to go. What